So it started out nubby and then it went more nubby and now it's the nubbiest. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a final check-in for y'all on my project pan, the crossing six off my Christmas list project pan. So I'm gonna run through the different products and let you know which ones are finished, which ones I didn't finish, but I made some progress towards finishing and just kind of give you a little final check-in. So let's get to it. So first off is my Benefit Puff Off, which I really don't have a way of telling how I did on this because there's a bubble in the middle of it. So it's not like I could do one of those toothpaste squeezer dealies because the bubble's in the middle and not at the top. There's a little bubble at the top, but there's also a bubble in the middle. So I don't really know, but I can tell you, I think I pretty much failed at this one because <laughs> I kept forgetting to use it. I would remember like when I was halfway through with my makeup and I was like, oh man, I meant to use my puff off. So I just kept forgetting and didn't do very well on this one, but I do love this product and I would definitely recommend it. I think it works does a great job of like depuffing and kind of like just helping the under eyes when you remember to use it. <laughs> Next is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. I did okay at this, but I could have done a lot better. Um, I think if I was doing this project pan more in the like spring summertime, I would have gotten through a lot more because I use this a lot for touch-ups but I don't need as many touch-ups throughout the day in the fall and winter. So I made some progress on it, but um, I mean, there's still clearly a lot left. And I, I mean, I was already hitting pan, but I guess I hit more pan. So I made some progress towards it, but I didn't cross this off my Christmas list. It, there, it's still on the Christmas list because I, I didn't finish it, but I made some progress. Next we have my MAC lipstick in Angel. Now I mentioned in my update that I was trying to use this um, on my cheeks, like kind of as a um, base for my blush. And one person said, you know, I may not want to use it anyway, because the reason I switched to using it on my cheeks is it kind of had a funny smell. And the person was like, you know, I mean, if it's smelling funny, you can go ahead and say it's done. You know, you gave it a, a good try and tried to use it in another way, but you know, might not want to use it on my face because it could break me out, which is, was a really good point. So I use it a couple more times, but I just kind of, you know, decided to say, I think I can call this good. I tried to use at least a little bit more of it. Um, let me show you on my paper. So it started out nubby and then it went more nubby and now it's the nubbiest. <laughs> so I got it to the nubbiest stage. So I'm, I'm proud of how I did on that one. I mean, I at least use a little bit more of it and it's pretty much all gone. And then we have my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which I would say that this one is a done and a success in the project pan. Um, it, it's kind of got weird, like as I started to use it in this project pan, it was dry and just kind of a different texture. So it really wasn't working well on my eyes. So I started using it on my nose, kind of like as a concealer and just for a little bit of coverage on my nose. And it worked well for that. Like, I think it worked really well. Um, I wouldn't like specifically buy it to use it on my nose, but I was just trying to kind of find a way to use it up and I did a good job. I think I this one's a success. Got my two liners that I counted as one. This one is definitely empty. This is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing whatever whatever. Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio in Blue Eyes. I pretty much remembered most of that name. That's pretty impressive. So this one was pretty much already done at the beginning. I just had a couple more applications left in it so I went ahead and used up the last couple applications so that's a done. And then this is the um, NYX, no, not NYX, NYC. Ooh, I don't know the name of it because it's all cut off now, but it's an eyeliner from NYC and it's now nubbier. I didn't totally finish it. So, I mean, this one's not a, I totally finished it, but it's almost getting to the point where I would have a hard time sharpening it. Like I wouldn't be able to like get it into the sharpener. So, I'd say I did really well on it. So this is where this one started out. There's the update and there is the final. So I definitely made a lot of progress on it and I'm pleased with how I did on that one. I kind of like got into a phase where I wasn't as much into liners. I was just wanting just mascara on my upper lash line. So it kind of got a little bit harder for me to want to use it because I just wasn't wanting to wear eyeliner. So I did use it um, several more times like in my tight line and then today I have a little bit of it actually on my lash line. So I tried to make like a 
a good effort towards using it up. Um, but if I was like in a phase of liking eyeliner, I probably would have done better. And lastly is my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I would definitely say that this is done. It is goopy beyond belief. <laughs> I'm impressed with how long I even used this because it's so goopy. Um, I just, you know, when I went to open the new one and started using it, I was like, wow, like I forgot what it actually is like when you first start using a tube of it. It's amazing anytime, but it's extra amazing when it's actually like a fresh tube. So I think I use this one well beyond when I probably could have said it's done. I kept using it. So this is a win too. I think I can say I officially finished this as well. All right guys, so that is my final check-in for my project pan. So I think I did pretty good for it being my very first project pan. I think I did pretty good. You know, I made some headway. I didn't finish everything up, but I at least made progress towards finishing them. And I used up more of these products than I would have if I hadn't done the project pan. So I would say overall, I think it's a success. So, hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and this series. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below how you did with your project pan if you joined me in this. I would love to know how you did along the way. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!